Hello everyone, it's Crafty Karen and today we're going to be doing one of the prompts for the College Weekly Assignment, uh, Volume 2 by Margaret Miller. So if we skip to the back of the page and we'll have a look at what the hashtag 2022 CWP 36 says. Now as always I'll leave the links to um, Margaret Miller's details in the description below. Okay, let's get started. Today's is which animals and insects make distinct, distinctly identifiable sounds? And then collage with images of these creatures. Well, I had my little bird basket out because I was looking for something particular. And decided to go with an Australian bird. But today we're going to go with the laughing kookaburra. Now the laughing kookaburra, who is here, is related to the kingfisher family. So there's a kingfisher, so it's related to the kingfishers. So that's another kingfisher, but I'm going to stick with the, the laughing kookaburra. So I've got something here's another kingfisher. This one's a kingfisher too, so I can put them ones back. So, and they make are distinctly identifiable with their laugh. Now I was looking on um, my iPad to see if I could find the sound I could play. I'm allowed to be commercially used. And I thought I'd let you have a listen. It's on public domain on a site called um, orangefreesounds.com. So I thought I'd give that a mention. Now they are found, I actually got my field guide out, which is a book that I don't cut up until I get one that's more up to date. Um, I thought I'd show you the laughing kookaburra, which is the one that makes that sound. It's found around this part of Australia. So they're normally found in um, woodlands um, and they are around residential areas and things like that as well, but uh, basically a woodland animal. All right, okay, let's get started. So, just thought I'd give you a bit of background. Now, what I found is this huge picture, which was from an Australian book, one of the forests. And I thought I, I might cut some of this up to make as the background to put my kookaburra in. So we'll start with that. I also have um, our wattle tree. But I'm going to go for these with the gum trees. Because as we know, the song goes, Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree. So I'm going to try and get some of that tree in there. So what am I going to do? Tear this piece off. It gets so awkward working on this side of the page now. But we'll give it a go. You can see I don't measure things, I just normally go and wing it. <laughs> oh, wing it. Oh dear. Yeah. Turn that piece on. Maybe I'll move that down. About there. Get a 
as much as this as possible. Gonna have that as our background. Oh, that glare's annoying, but if I don't bend that down, you don't get it. So we'll have that as the background. So let's get that glue down and done and dusted. Get my glue book here. Now, if you stay to the end of this video, I will give you the answer. If you'd watched my previous video on the um, College Weekly Prompts, the last video that i done, I will give you the answer to the, the coded page. So hang in there. All right. Let's get this down. It's not very straight. But it could be that I tore it crooked too. I oh know. That's a bit better. All right. Now to work up on which kookaburra I'm going to use. And maybe I'll use a couple. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go away and I will Fussy cut around this a bit more, so I haven't got this white edge. And maybe I'll fussy cut around these as well. Ah, so I've been fussy cutting. Now, I did fussy cut this one out. And some of the bits came apart. But it's okay, we should be able to fix that up. So I think, first of all, I was thinking of putting this one down here because it's um, a young one. Let's just go with that. All right, let's get this glued down. Now, while I was away fussy cutting, um, My mind was wandering and I was thinking about my experiences with kookaburras and I've had many but one of them that come to me was um, when I lived up in Queensland uh, I used to take we used to take the um, the kids when they were younger to Mount Cuthar a lot which is a beautiful spot and go off exploring and climbing and all sorts of things and have a barbecue down there uh, they had um, I don't know whether they've changed them to electric now but they were the open open ones and we'd cook up our sausages to have in bread and and whatnot and the kookaburras would always smell it always and come down and pinch the sausages so they were quite used to people being around <laughs> but we'd lose some sausages to those I don't want to sit that about. Oh, it needs to 
to move over a bit there but I don't want to stick that down yet and another time I remembered was um, I was having a picnic with my best friend uh, Gary <laughs> yeah we packed a picnic up some nice meat and um, salad rolls and went for a picnic down to um, the Mount Cutha Botanical Gardens so we're sitting on the lawns down there um, having our picnic and I was eating my roll and Gary was eating his roll <laughs> and as he took a bite of his roll a kookaburra come flying down <laughs> and stole his roll. <laughs> well, just like the laughing kookaburra, I was like a laughing kookaburra. I was beside myself. I could not stop laughing. It was the funniest thing ever. I mean, it scared the bejesus out of him because he wasn't expecting it. And um, I was in tears just laughing. I guess you have to be there. And, oh. Yes, I've got to try and get this on. Oh, I should concentrate. But over on one of the benches was this other gentleman having his lunch. And he was laughing as well. So he's chuckling away, laughing at Gary as well as me laughing at Gary losing his lunch that while this was happening another kookaburra come down and the fellow that was sitting on the park bench stole his <laughs> sandwich that he was holding well that just set me off even more oh, hang on a minute I need to get this one down I think the little bits that fell off so they can be very cheeky our kookaburras. So in the end, I was the only one that had a nice lunch. Now I can stick this big down. Just make sure this hasn't dried up. So if you're ever in Australia and you're in Queensland and you're in Brisbane, definitely a lovely spot to see wildlife if you go to Mount Cooper and to their botanical gardens as well. Beautiful spot. All right. Pretty simple. That's my story of the kookaburras, the laughing kookaburras. So, that's my kookaburras. The other thing I was going to show you by, at the end of this video, in the last video, when I was going through my flip through, um, I'll just turn to that page, to this page. Uh, imagine a secret code. Okay, I did have a couple of people comment on it um, so we'll go through it so on this page is an eye which happens to be my eye um, there's some cans so a can there's a C there's some U's and a U is a female sheep there's a letter R and there's some puzzle pieces with a D on the end so it's I can see you are puzzled. I can see you are puzzled. Yes, I could definitely see that you are puzzled. So that's the answer to my code. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for 
watching and um, I hope you enjoyed my kookaburra page and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.